Hello and welcome. Uh, this is a video about the Samsung Galaxy Watch and Jug Gluco. And if you run Jug Gluco at the moment and you uh, have experienced some issues, you may realise that it is no longer available on the Google Play Store. Um, I'm dealing with just uh, Samsung and Android, so if you're into Apple, this one won't be for you. But um, as you well probably know, I sell quite a lot of uh, Samsung Galaxy watches on eBay. And if you're into, uh, well, if you're into, if you're a diabetic type one and you have the Freestyle Libra 2, you may realize that you can use, let's uh, position this a bit better, uh, Jug Luco on a Samsung Galaxy Watch 4, which is extremely handy so that you can see the direction and your blood sugar levels at just the turn of your wrist. So it's pretty blinking marvelous. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to list some of the links to the Jug Luco uh, developers um, web page and then you can uh, download it and you use now e APK downloaders to um, download it on your phone so uh, a friend of mine deleted his Jug Luco app and uh, no longer had it on his phone and his watch but um, a little bit of digging around and uh, you need to install an APK installer they're readily available and all the instructions to uh, download and get it all up and running um, are now on uh, uh, well non-Google Play Store uh, sites. And I've been using it uh, from the APK installer now for about two months and it's uh, been working absolutely fine. Um, another little thing I'm going to say is uh, when you have a sensor change, um, most people install them about a day beforehand on the pretense that they uh, work better uh, if they're installed in your arm about 24 hours beforehand. And of course, uh, it'll come to the point where you may wish to um, get one working, the new one working, before the old one's finished. Well, I found that I did that. I cancelled it about a quarter of an hour early, and then I had some serious issues about trying to get it working. So I would say as a tip, let the old one expire. Um, do not put the new one on. I think it sort of doesn't have the system's not happy about it. So let the new one expire, rip it off, put the Libra app on and scan the Libra 2 and then one hour needs to commence. Uh, once that's done, you get readings. So uh, once you've done that, just go to the Jug Luco app and of course your old sensor is no longer uh, in range, it's firmly planted in the recycling. And just go to uh, sensor and then you will find that there's a, uh, a setting, uh, let's just go, maybe it's watch, yeah. So just go to config and just give that a press and then initiate watch app. Just give that, I found that actually about four or five presses and then up comes a little box at the top and then let it lie, don't worry about it. And then what will happen is that uh, your watch will give you the, uh, oh dear, look at that. <laughs> Let's just cover that up, that's ice cream, I'm afraid. Um, and then the watch uh, will come alive and it will uh, just start to give you the new readings. It's been easier than ever, basically. Um, Let's uh, just show you the sensor. So if you go to this page, um, you'll see that the sensor serial number is located. That's the number, I believe, of the uh, Bluetooth code. And it's uh, just a, a quick, simple method of uh, looking for the new sensor. And you can get that info from the Libra 2. Uh, sorry, Libra's application. Uh, yeah, OK, so uh, if you want to get a watch like this, and I put mine on an elasticated bracelet because I wear a nice watch on my left hand side. OK, it's a pulsar today, but there's often something quite nice on there. Uh, in fact, that is a nice watch, actually. And then you want to basically wear a nice watch and your Samsung watch to do um, payments and just give you the notifications and all the rest of it. Top tip I found, put it on an elasticated bracelet. Because if you're right handed or if you're left, this just applies uh, vice versa. Um, it feels weird wearing a watch on your right wrist with a bracelet and, you know, maybe a buckle or whatever. And it gets in the way because you're right handed and it's scuffing on things. Stick it on an elasticated bracelet. Then you can just pop it up your arm about uh, 
three or four inches. And then it's out of the way. Uh, not the, nearly not the camera, for God. If I had a pound for that. Um, and then it's up your arm a little bit, so uh, it, it's sort of out of the way. Um, and then you can wear your nice, pleasant uh, timepiece as per usual. Uh, so yeah, uh, elasticated bracelet, way forward, I reckon. Uh, so I'll just put those links to the Jug Luco developers. I'm not a dietitian, a diabetes nurse, or a, any form of uh, diabetic training whatsoever. It's just the fact that, in my experience, I've just found it extremely useful to uh, use Jug Luco with the alarms on your on your smartwatch. And uh, and I've done plenty of uh, tests on various smartwatches, and the Samsung Galaxy Watch is by far the best one for this uh, setup. Um, others will go down the route of different um, apps and things like that. Fair enough, you're welcome to it. You may say they're better, all the best, but the, I found that the easiest method, uh, once it's installed, uh, because it is a little bit more of a time-consuming effort now to put it via the APK um, installers, but once you've got the hang of that, it's, uh, it's fine. Um, or just get a friend to do it. It's pretty uh, straightforward. Didn't take me many minutes after I... Uh, downloaded the little uh, installers and things um, and again the watch 4 uh, either the classics with the bezel because of course the watch 5 now doesn't come with the bezel uh, okay they're titanium but they're basically the same innards with a slightly longer lasting battery um, and uh, a, a sapphire glass but I've never had a problem with uh, the glass on my um, Samsung 4 and there's always a range of 44 millimeters 42 millimeters uh, classics and ordinary non-classics. Uh, okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.